Good morning, it's Monday the 8th of February. We meet as always in the name of God the Father, God the Son and God the Holy Spirit. May the Lord be with you. It was nice to be in school the other day and hear all the children saying, and with you. It's been a cold weekend, hasn't it? And I think the weather's going to be quite cold this week, so make sure you all wrap up. No getting a chill. Maybe you might get some snow. Well, let's see. This week... Our theme is all about love. It's quite an exciting thing, isn't it? It's Valentine's Day coming up soon. But actually, we're thinking about God's love and our love for each other as well. And I want to introduce you to somebody today. This fine young man is Alfred Cornelius Taylor. It's a great name, isn't it? And he actually is my great granddad. The reason I'm introducing you to Alfred today is this came into my possession. And this was Alfred's Bible. And Alfred Cornelius Taylor was given this Bible on the day he got married. And he got married in 1880. Yep, that's right. This Bible's 140, nearly 141 years old. It actually smells quite old as well. As I was looking at the Bible, all these beautiful flowers fell out. I think they're 140 years old as well. And there's a list of Alfred and his family. And right at the bottom is my grandma, Amelia, Amelia Taylor. And then the Bible went to my dad. And now the Bible's come to me. And I'm very proud to own this. In fact, Alfred won a military medal in the First World War. He was a staff sergeant in the Royal Horse Artillery. Maybe we'll learn a little bit more about Alfred Cornelius Taylor at the the day. I want to talk today about love and how love can make people great. Alfred, he was quite um, quite an old man when he went to war. He was in his 50s when he won his medal. And he decided to go and fight because he loved his country and he loved his family and he felt it was the right thing to do. Some people wouldn't agree with that, but people do love for very different things. And although Alfred was an ordinary man, he came from Stockport. In Manchester, he actually did great things. St. Paul, in his letter to the Corinthians, and you can find that in the Corinthians chapter 1, verse 13, tells you about 15 different things all about what love is. Quite often, if people get married in the church, they read out St. Paul's letter about what love is. And I want us to think today about that love can make us all be great. St. Paul wrote about what makes people really special. He said, you don't have to be Superman or Wonder Woman. Well, no, St. Paul didn't actually use those words, but that's what he was implying. He said, love makes ordinary people great. If I can speak every language on heaven and earth, but have no love, I am like a noisy gong or a clanging bell. If I'm really brainy and understand everything in the universe, but have no love, I am nothing. If I can do miracles and great deeds of bravery, but have no love, it does me no good at all. Christians believe that you don't have to have any qualifications to love, but just to have a big heart. You don't have to be brainy or wealthy, it doesn't matter who you are or where you will come from. Just having a big heart means you can be loving. St. Paul went on to tell us lots more things about love, about love being patient and kind. And we're going to learn about those in the rest of the week. Do you know, I wonder how Alfred felt when he was at war. I knew he loved his family. He was an ordinary man doing ordinary things. And he signed up for his country and decided to fight because he felt it was the right thing to do. And he left at home several children. Now, at that time, my nana would have been about, by the time of this photograph, would have been about 15 years old. It's not long after that, she actually met my granddad. And my grandma, she came from Manchester. She was an ordinary lady. Funny, isn't it? 
that were all quite ordinary really. But if you look down and peel away those layers, we all have this massive capacity to love. And we all actually can be quite superheroes. Our capacity to love makes us superheroes in that we can share what we have with others through our kindness, through our actions, through what we say, very often through what we don't say or what we don't do. We don't join in that argument or we don't go over and watch maybe if somebody's been hurt by somebody else. This week's really important. It teaches us that love is the most wonderful, wonderful thing that you can give and also receive. Let's put our hands together. Dear God, we thank you for the love that you give us and for the love that we have of each other. We thank you that although we might fall out with our family and our brothers and our sisters and our friends at school, that we still, deep down, love them. Please, God, let us this week show our love for you in our actions and in our thoughts. We pray as always, Lord, for those who may have been sad, lonely, for those who are sick and those who are vulnerable. We pray as always, Lord, for the NHS, the doctors and the nurses, the, the delivery drivers, the shopkeepers, and all the adults here at St. James who are keeping our school open so that we can all be here and show our love to each other. We pray for our friends at King's Highway School. In Kenya, as they face lots of changes and challenges, let our love spread to them and let them know that God is always there. We ask this through Jesus' name. Amen. If you want to know more about Alfred Cornelius Taylor, I'm going to tell you a little bit more about my family and my family's background over the next coming weeks. Take care. Wrap up warm. Be good. Remember, for those of you not in school, you're still part of our family and still very, very much loved. Don't forget, we're only a phone call, an email, a text away. If anybody's struggling or worrying, please, please get in touch. Well, that's me finished now. I'm going to carry on reading some of these letters and things. I wonder who that was for. Anyway, it's nice to see you and I'll catch up with you later. Enjoy learning about all of what St. Paul said. Let's show love in everything we say and we do. Bye now.